Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media. Today I've got another installment of This Week in EDM where I go over songs that came out this week in EDM uh, ending with pretty much or the date of September 11th uh, or 10th I guess is when most of the songs actually came out. But uh, the way this works is uh, I, we do a listening party on Saturdays and so if you want to be a part of that and the voting of where these songs go, what categories they go into, you can join the listening parties on Saturday and be a part of the voting process to determine what category songs are in. So the songs are in one of five categories, trash, bad, meh, good, and standout. And there's no actually trash or bad this week. And so songs are just meh, good, and standout. So I think it's the first time we've had no uh, bad songs, I guess. So uh, let's let's jump into it. Uh, first up, and our worst song of the week is Running Out of Roses by Alan Walker and Jamie Miller. Uh, this one just felt like kind of a boring Alan Walker track for the most part after he's released his really popular stuff like Faded, people who haven't really liked what he's done, and this is kind of just that. There's really no, nothing interesting happening with the song, it's super quick, it's super short, and it really has nothing new to offer. Up next is What You Like by Kirby. Uh, this is a really interesting track that I think divided the people in the chat a little bit. Uh, it was weird, it had like a unique sound to it, but it was felt really repetitive and like it wasn't going anywhere in the long run. And I think that uh, sentiment actually is a lot of the songs this week. You'll hear that over and over again, I think, with some of these is that it has a cool sound to it, but it's just kind of repetitive and doesn't do much. And so that was this song for sure. Up next, Amani by Blue Claire and Jargon. Uh, another one of those things. It's kind of got this weird, uh, I was, I don't know, like LSD house. Is that the best way to put it? Like a, uh, almost an acid house, not quite. Just an interesting sound design to it with a little poppy, just like uh, Blue Claire likes to do. And uh, yeah, it's cool kind of sound for the first little bit. You're like, oh, this is interesting. And then it's like, okay, uh, by the runtime, you're like, this is, this is just okay by the end. Up next, <laughs> Jet Ski in the Desert by Kill Paris. Uh, classic Kill Paris uh, style track that's super funky and weird and almost off-putting uh, with a super strange song title. And so this song is really no exception. Uh, it just was weird. It, it really didn't do too much uh, fantastical. It wasn't anything really fun or engaging. So that's why it's just here in meh. Up next, Run in a Dream, the Tales remix, originally by Katie Rose. Uh, a lot of people actually really liked this, including myself, liked the Tales mix to it, but uh, the vocals were a bit of off-putting, and they weren't really there or clean or refined as much as we would have liked, and so I think that's why it's as low as it is, because Tales, I think, did a pretty solid job remixing the track, but I think the original track just wasn't quite there, so that's why it's here in meh. Up next, Work It by Delta Heavy. Uh, this feels like a classic Delta Heavy DNB track and nothing more really. It's kind of everything we've heard from Delta Heavy, Delta Heavy in the past and sounds a little bit like an older 2016, 2017 DNB style track. So that's why it's just here. Up next, Slow Truth by Icarus Moth, Ihirobi, and Defi? Defi? I don't even know how to say any of these names, but uh, this is uh, the new Monster Cat release that does not sound like Monster Cat at all. All. It's a very interesting take. It's a little more R&B, a little more groovy, but uh, in the end, it was kind of just an okay song. It wasn't anything spectacular, and uh, it was a fun little vibe, but nothing more. Up next, Adios uh, by Dioro and Andrea's Babi. Uh, this is a fun little Spanish-speaking tra uh, house track, and uh, for I'm not a huge fan of those songs normally. Uh, I just... For me, I'm basic white, white Canadian guy. I don't like my Spanish music that much. But uh, this one, I actually enjoyed a little bit. Uh, but the general census was it was a pretty basic house track. But uh, I think for a festival or club, this would do quite well for sure. Uh, up next, Stay Awake by Don Diablo and Freak Fantastic. New album by Don Diablo is out, which I need to go explore and listen to. And uh, this song is actually a little less housey than he's done in the past. It's a little more pop-oriented. Uh, it's not quite kind of his classic future house or deep house style. A little more for the pop radio friendliness. And uh, it was okay, uh, but it wasn't great. Um, definitely better than we've some stuff we've heard from Don Diablo in the past, though. That's for sure. Uh, speaking of another album, uh, Let Love Win, The Fat Rat and Anjali, a very interesting song. It starts uh, pretty calm and almost emotional. It has these kind of keys that are all throughout the track that kind of tugs on the heartstrings a little bit more. Uh, but the song kind of just fell flat, I think. It didn't work as well as it could have. And um, in the end, it was just kind of, uh, it would just felt like it was pandering too much, I would say. 
Up next, Reload by Reaper and Slang Dogs. We had three songs from the uh, D&B compilation that just came out. I can't remember who hosted it. But uh, this was a... And all three of the tracks were pretty much hard-hitting D&B tracks that had a cool sound to start, but were just repetitive and really didn't do much. And I'm actually surprised that the Reaper track ended up being the uh, lowest of the three D&B tracks we talked about. Uh, up next, uh, Life So Good by Chet Porter featuring Cherry Surf. Another one similar to uh, Slow Down or Slow Truth, which we talked about earlier, the Monster Cat one, where it's got a fun kind of R&B vibe to it. Uh, and Chet Porter does great production on this track or produces something pretty solid. Uh, but the vocals just were a bit of a put off to me. They were quite whiny and weren't as clean cut as I would have liked them to be. So, uh, I mean, that's why they're here. Moving into the good category now, songs that were pretty solid. Uh, we've got KF Kong by Karma Fields. Uh, my reaction has also just came out, so if you want to go see my original reaction to that song, you can. Uh, assumingly, some albums coming out, Karma Fields is here with a pretty basic Karma Fields track. Uh, not a ton going on. Uh, the biggest thing is, I think it actually sounds a lot like Swedish House Mafia's newer stuff, just not house. It's kind of the more electronic-y side of it. But uh, I, I was a fan of it, and uh, majority were of uh, in this chat as well for this song. Up next, we've got Thermos by Company and Stay Sick, the last song that we talked about this week, or at least on the chat or in the live stream, and uh, from a new EP that's coming out or just came out from Company. Uh, it's a solid track that really didn't have a ton going on for myself personally. Uh, I think a lot more of the chat enjoyed it more than I did. It's a little bit too much DNB or the hard hitting DNB for my personal liking. Same with Reaper. But um, you get, a lot of people seem to really enjoy it. And so it wasn't for me, but uh, more so for other people. Up next, the uh, criminally ironic Stop Drinking by Drinks On Me. A really interesting track with this one. It had uh, elements that made it sound incredible in some areas and sound design that was really cool. And then other areas with like the vocals and what it was saying was just like super weird and odd. And it was a little all over the place. It had a darker atmosphere to it, but uh, definitely wasn't the best Drinks On Me, especially uh, I think the song was worse than all three of his or all five of his um, recent stuff on his uh, More To Give EP. So... Up next, uh, the second from those D and B that D and B compilation, uh, the hunting track by Kumarion. Uh, another similar thing here. Cool sound design, interesting with a nice haunting, scary, spooky atmosphere to it. But uh, by the end of its, I think four minute runtime, it was like, okay, I'm kind of just done with this. This is just the same kind of sound over and over again. So uh, it's good, but that's why it's just here in the good category. Up next, Without You by Darren Styles, uh, Tweak a Core, and De Tweaks, the same artist, but uh, <laughs> yeah. This is a kind of basic happy hardcore style track, and for me personally, I don't love happy hardcore, especially the average sounding songs like this, and so I wasn't a huge fan of this track, although if you do like happy hardcore, I think you will enjoy this one a fair amount. But uh, again, very basic happy hardcore. Up next, Everlong by Grabbits, the Foo Fighters cover. Uh, really not EDM. Uh, we, uh, even though we're talking about it here because I loaded it up and I didn't hear the song beforehand and uh, it's pretty much just like a kind of alt-rock R&B cover uh, of the original song that's a lot more calm. Uh, but there's some good chord progression here throughout the track and uh, even though it's not EDM, uh, a lot of people really did like it in the chat. So that's why it's our uh, eighth top song of the week. Up next, we've got Silence by Danny Leakes and uh, featuring So Met Sonam. Uh, this is actually my personal favorite Danny Leak songs of his Monster Cat releases up to today. Uh, but this is another one that we shared similar sentiment where it's a cool track, but there's really not a ton going on in it. And there really isn't a ton of variety from the first drop to second drop. And in the end, it's just like, a, okay, that sounded nice, but I'm not really going to go back to this ever. So... Uh, up next, the final of those D&B kind of compilation tracks is Could Couldn't by Slippy. Uh, Slippy does a great job of combining his kind of classic hybrid trap style with D&B on this track, especially on that second drop. And I think it was a little more interesting than the Chimerian and Reaper tracks on this one for sure. Uh, pretty interesting one. I enjoyed it more so than the other two, that's for sure. And uh, if you like the D&B and or Slippy style, I would definitely give this one a listen. Up next, uh, Tony Romero's Boogie uh, featuring Casual. Uh, very, very funky house track here. Uh, I have not listened to the full Tony Romero album yet. I need to. I need to. Maybe I'll do it after this video. Uh, but super fun, funky, very lighthearted, and uh, overall a pretty solid track. Uh, the vocals were okay. I think they offered neutral. They were neutral to the track. I don't think they added or subtracted, but uh, that was uh, Tony Romero. 
Up next is Falling Apart by Penguin Nerd, Stonebank, and Amel. Uh, and honestly, as I'm thinking about doing this video right now, I think if this didn't have the names attached to it, this would have been ranked a little bit lower. Uh, it was for a collaboration between these three and how big if it is, uh, blah, blah, how big they are into Monsky community. This song was a little underwhelming, I would say for sure. Uh, I had no expectations going into it, and I still was slightly underwhelmed. But uh, it's a pretty kind of solid, happy hardcore track that's very similar to what. Or so, uh, what Stonebank normally does, uh, and I didn't really feel the uh, impact of Pegmore Nerds as much on this track, but uh, it's still a solid track, that's why it's up here. I was being harsh on it a little bit, I would say. Uh, and our bronze medalist of the week, the number three track, and our last in the good category is Close to You by Dumu and Amiya. Uh, this track is kind of classic Dumu. It's a solid cut with some nice future bass sounds to it. Amiya's vocals are crisp and clean and super nice to the track. They add this almost ethereal sense to it. Uh, I don't think it's as good as some other stuff that Dumu has done on Monster Cat, that's for sure, but definitely better than I think uh, the stuff that he's done as of late, and I, a lot of the chat agreed with that. So we were big Dumu fans, and this is another solid uh, addition to his discography. Heading into the standout category now, songs that were standouts for this week, we have Ghost by Hex Cougar and Himanu. Uh, this is kind of classic Hex Cougar. It's got your kind of cinematic-y uh, hybrid trap style that is a lo little dark and a brooding atmosphere that kind of really takes you on a bit of a ride or a journey, and it does sound a lot like a lot of Hex Cougar's other stuff, uh, but it, that is not to diminish its quality. It's a, still a fantastic track. And finally, topping off the week is Redline by Virtual Riot, our top song of the week. Uh, personally, not my favorite from the album. I didn't love how kind of hectic and chaotic this rhythm style track was. I preferred a lot of, uh, or a few other songs from the album, but this is the one that we talked about and listened to. Uh, it had a ton of energy to it, and uh, if you do like the rhythm or that kind of uh, bro rhythm stuff, uh, you will definitely enjoy this track for sure. Uh, standout from the Virtual Riot album, I would say for sure, but uh, for me personally, just not the biggest fan, but uh, yeah, this video is a mix of everything, so that's why we're talking about it here, and that's why it's our number one song of the week. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, did I get any of these songs, or did we get any of these songs super wrong? And if we did, you need to come to our next live stream on Saturday and vote on the songs yourself. But other than that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video. Thank <laughs> you.